Hey, Tap Brothers here, and today we're learning the basic landing. The basic landing is one of the first moves you want to learn in parkour. With the basic landing, you'll be using it in almost every move in parkour. So, whenever we do big drops, you have to know the basic landing form in order to get the parkour roll and everything else that we're learning. Also, if you don't learn this basic landing, you risk serious injury and you also risk getting chronic injuries because you're doing bad form and you do not want that to happen to you. So let's learn this right and learn this correct. The first thing that we want to do is, and a lot of people don't talk about this, is that you want your body to be aligned on the landing. So just keep this in mind. Whenever you're taking a landing, you want your body to be aligned and to be aligned with the movement that you're doing. So uh, for instance, you want your toes to be pointed out. You don't want uh, one foot to be turned out too much. And you also don't want your feet to be staggered because then you're putting too much weight in one area. So remember, your feet are going to be parallel, uh, about shoulder width apart, and everything is aligned. Your knees are going over your toes, toes are pointing straight. This is how you're going uh, to land. The first thing that we do when we land is we're going to be landing right below the balls of the feet. The reason why we do this is this is how you're going to be able to absorb the most amount of pressure. Uh, this allows you to use your joints the way they're meant to, to land. So you land right here as you hit the ground and then absorb. If you land, say, on your heels, which some people do on accident, you're not going to absorb anything. It automatically uh, straightens your legs and you're going to feel the shock all the way up through your body, especially in the lower back. So it's really important, balls of the feet lined up. Another key point is the movement with the hips. A lot of people when they're doing landings, you'll see their knees go, end up going past their toes and their hips go forward. Big problem, you don't want to do this. This is what's going to cause a lot of pressure on your knees, a lot of problems. So what you want to do is sink those hips down. So when you're landing, hips are going down and your knees are staying right here. You don't want them to go past your toes. So it's like right here. Hips go down, feel that. All right, so I want you to test out those few things we've learned already. Uh, so when you're doing the first part of the landing, you're landing on the balls of the feet, remember? So try doing that. Land on the balls of your feet for a few jumps, and now try landing on the heels and feel the difference. Feel how much of a difference that is. And you can really tell why landing at that part of the foot makes a huge difference on your landings. All right, next thing I want you to do is remember with the hips. Don't push them forward, have them come back. So try a few where you jump up, have the hips sink down. And then try a few where you push the hips forward. Really, you can really feel how vulnerable you are with the knees and your back and everything like that. This is just so it gets in your head that you want to get that landing right. Okay, the next thing is the back. Now, uh, when you're landing, you don't want it to be curved over like this, and you don't want it to be too arched like this. You want it to be nice and straight. You want to have integrity with the spine. So that way you avoid any kind of pains or issues with the back. So try a few for yourself. You can try landing. You'll feel the difference when you're arching too much this way. Or if you're curved too much this way, you'll feel, uh, you might feel a little bit of pain right there. So you want the back to be straight. So just really focus on those different body parts. Okay, so we learned the basic mechanics of this basic landing. Now we're going to go into something a little more advanced. So practice that form that we were talking about. Balls of the feet, uh, make sure the knees don't go over, your hips are sinking down, the back straight. Work on that a few times and then we're going to work on uh, another landing called the slap landing. It's just a little more advanced and we use this whenever we have a little bit of forward momentum or we're taking a drop, you know, that's off of this picket table or something like that. This will allow you to absorb more momentum with your body and more pressure so that way you can land safely. And it's a slap landing because we're going to use our hands as we come down and hit the ground so that way we have some uh, extra ways to distribute this momentum and force. So for example, we're up here, jump, slap landing, come out. And you can see as, as you hit you're going to hop out. So the thing is, everything's the same except you're going to lean slightly forward Keep the integrity with your back, and you're going to place the hands 
right down in front of you on the ground. So you're going to lean slightly forward. You're not going to bend at further with the legs. You're just going to be leaning a little bit forward. So we land here, same mechanics. Hands come down to absorb more. You absorb, you push out. And that's why we call it the slap landing. You're slapping here, you're pushing out. Now, I like to keep my hands a little bit inside of my knees. I like to keep them right here. Some people like to keep them uh, perfectly even. Really up to you. You just don't want to be, you know, real wide or have your legs too far apart where you're going like this. So, just keep that in mind. Okay, so that's a quick review of the basic landing and the slap landing. Again, you want to start small and gradually build up. So you're going to start with this basic landing then move up to maybe something like this and get a feel for it and then work on the slap landing where you're distributing momentum like that. Do this and you'll be able to learn the landing safely, easily. And again, it's gonna take a lot of practice. So go out there, start doing it right now and I will see you in the next video. Click on the link below in the description to check out awesome parkour clothing from Take Fly. Also, you can go to our website, learnmoreparkour.com to pick up a free five day parkour training course and to join the Parkour Academy. And don't forget, if you like our videos, subscribe to our channel.